Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pat Wahid. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Post Malaysia Berhad. Since I've traveled 17 hours away from home, I think I deserve an additional three minutes than the 10. All right? Postme.com.my is the biggest online with the largest offline support. Why the largest offline support? Malaysia has got an internet penetration of about 80 over percent, but barely 10 percent actually shops online because most of them do not have credit cards. We are the first e-commerce online business that allows the public to walk to the counter and pay cash over the counter regardless of where you live, regardless of whether you have an address or not, whether you have a postcode or not, you can buy anything you want online, whether you're offshore at the oil rigs, whether you're in the mountains planting pineapples, we have post offices everywhere, you can buy anything you want online through Post Malaysia. Post Malaysia and postme.com.my came about with three people. My staff who knew IT but didn't know marketing, me who knew marketing but didn't know IT, and my CEO who gave the trust and believed in the two of us. Post Malaysia is a very low brand trust product in the country, unlike Deutsche Post. When you talk about Deutsche Post to the Germans, they take their heads off. You talk about Royal Mail to, to the British, they will take their heads off. You talk about Post Malaysia to the normal people, they say, ah, I don't send letters anymore. When we, before we launched postme.com.my, the average visit uh, for our Post Malaysia website stands at about 100 or even 80 a day. The first month we launched it, we actually hit a page view of about 2.5 million. We sent out 1,000 parcels in um, less than a week. Uh, we managed to capture a target base of about 140,000 shoppers. And most interestingly, the teenagers and the young working community have started to give us a different kind of look, a different kind of respect in how we run the business and in how we have given value to their lives. Postme.com.my, um, if you look at the, the, the view in Malaysia, what you have is you will have only websites that you can do bidding to buy products and most of them are second-hand products and you don't even know who's the, the owner of the business behind the e-commerce. Um, you also have small block shops, which uh, if you're doing block uh, shop, if someone buys a product from you, you have to make sure that the person pays you up front. There's an issue of trust here where people don't want to pay you up front and you have to drive out to go to all the postal offices or the courier companies to send your products uh, yourself. What we have done is we have actually introduced a very, very simple, quick way for the lower end business people to start e-commerce online. For 60 ringgit, which is about 11 pounds a month, you get to have credit card access for payment to facilitate your buyers. You don't have to go out of the house, you can stay at home and we will come and collect the products from you to send to the buyers. And we make sure that there's also cash over the counter payment done for you. All this, if any of the businesses out there were to start their own online business, it costs nothing less than £1,500 at least. So for a mere investment of £11 a month, all that is facilitated by Post Malaysia. We have um, different pillars that we have created because Post Malaysia is a, 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 a GLC, a government linked uh, company. Aside from selling products um, for, for merchants to come on board as individuals or SMEs and corporate identities, we have also opened a gateway for non-government um, organizations, for Malaysian Society of the Blind, for instance. They actually produce baskets and they have no platform or no channel to sell their baskets, so we sell the baskets for them for free. The, the consumers pay and we don't charge them anything. 
We have also worked on a program with university students where they are very, very entrepreneurial. Three of friends will share money and start a business, and they do business online. So they will lodge the products at the university bursaries and we'll collect from there for them. We also have a program for school co-ops for secondary kids where you can actually lodge your product to the school bursary and the school charges them 50 cents for the, the upload cost. And um, the school makes money and the students make money too. But the beauty about this is in Malaysia, um, it, it's a very social oriented uh, country. In fact, Malaysia in the world we are number one in Facebook when it comes to the most number of friends by one individual. On an average, a Malaysian has got more than 400 friends on Facebook. And that's noted to be the highest, the top in the world. So by going to school co-ops, I actually tap into the youth market where I think the potential for, for the viral to grow is 14 times. It's a very close family-centric and community-centric kind of people where, where once you upload your product, you will actually SMS your friends, you tell your uncles, you tell your aunts, you tell your grandpas, you tell your neighbors, and that time's 14. So instantly, that's how I got 140,000 hit in the first week itself uh, uh, when we launched it. Um, we also have a charity drive where you can click and you, we work with a grocer. So you just click for a cereal and click for cheese and click for milk. We will send those products to a charity home of your choice every weekend only. It is a norm for the Malaysians to actually donate uh, on Fridays before they go for Friday prayers. But for the non-Muslims, like the Christians, they tend to give something away on Sundays. And usually they have to drive out all the way to buy the products and go and send it to the charity home. But in this case, everything is listed. You just need to click what you want to go for and we will deliver it to your choice of charity home. And last but not least is actually car number plate auction. Malaysia is very car crazy market and they bid a lot for auctions. So we actually do bidding for car number plates as well um, online. Our USP is yes, we are about the only one um, who owns the last mile delivery and there is not a place on earth that we don't go to um, minus where the orangutans live. But where there's human, that's where we are. Okay. Our tagline is you click we deliver. It's a very simple proposition that consumers understand. And the platform is, we are the biggest online mall with the biggest offline support. In fact, I think we are the only online mall with offline support. No one else in Malaysia has got that offer. Marketing. Um, exposure to the Malaysians so they can buy the fairy pearls and the premiums whilst it's still hot in the oven. So we are also looking at securing some form of cross-border marketing with some other postal companies as well. So you can talk to me. All right, um, the social media presence, this is, this is where we are covered. That's about it. That's 10 minutes, right? That was terrific, Pat, and very, very entertaining start too. And congratulations for all that achievement. Thank Hopefully, you. you can just stay for a minute or two um, because you've got to leave, so you won't yeah. be able to take part in the future question time. But right. you know, perhaps, any questions? Uh, yeah. I, I can say another five, ten questions, yes, uh, please. Yep. Oh. What about the Yeah. Does it make money? Give us uh, margins from their products, ah. anywhere between 11% to 38%, depending on whether it's a best buy or it's stocks that they wish to push. We have one merchant who wanted to do a stock clearance for their Barbie doll um, dolls, and what they usually do is they have to rent a, um, a factory somewhere and, and call for a, a factory sale, but instead they gave it to us at 48% off, and we advertised in the main newspaper and we sold it for them. Right. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, other, other questions? I must say that's what I was thinking about as well. <laughs> but, uh, and, and then there's the margin on the delivery, presumably. There's a yes. delivery fee falls, falls to you. Right. Yeah. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video because it actually tells the whole story of what postme.com.mys are about. You're, you're saying that you're um, thinking about uh, cross-border opportunities, of course. Yes. You know, that retailer you're talking to, or supplier in the UK, yes. will you expect that person to sort of bulk ship stuff over to you, or will we you sell it on a piece basis, and then you've got the question of the time of delivery? Okay. We, we are an aggregator. We aggregate uh, 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 the, the, the shoppers and the merchants online together. We don't hold stock. So what I've done is, like for UK, I've worked with Malaysian students who are based there who started their own blog shop for them to actually pro, uh, provide the products to me as and when there's others. So then your commitment will be whatever time it takes through the delivery channel right. to get it. That's right. That's about thank, it. Thank, thank you. In fact, New Zealand Post has agreed to work with me on their Manuka Honey um, as a cross-border marketing opportunity and their Lamp Placenta. All right. Okay? Yes. yes. Who is? <laughs> My name is Luis Jimenez. Uh, could you just say a couple of words about the legal and ownership status of Post Malaysia? I worked with you, but many years ago, before you were born probably, when it was just the Department of Postal Service, but you've had bank investors, you've had different transformations over the year. What's your status now? You're a public company? Do you have any investors? Um, Thank the, you. The, the government uh, investment arm is called Khazana. Khazana has decided to di uh, divest from Post Malaysia to sell off their 32% uh, stake in Post Malaysia Berhad. It's now been bought over by one of uh, the biggest magnate um, in Malaysia, it's Tan Sri Syed Mokta, who owns DRB Highcom. He also owns the distribution uh, rights for Chevrolet, Suzuki, and some of the big brands as well. Um, the divestment took place sometime three weeks ago, but the new party has yet to come in. They should be coming in sometime in July. Said Mota, um, the speculation is that he's interested to look at Post Malaysia because he also owns a very, very big bank. And this bank is uh, uh, more for the farmers and the agriculture side. So we have 1,200 uh, units of um, post offices. And he's looking at uh, using that as the channel for the banking access to the consumers. And at the same time, I think we will have now a finance license for Post Malaysia because we never had that. We had that many years ago in the 60s and, and, and then we split ourselves. So now we have a banking finance uh, license already. 